Hello Gearspace, welcome to my booth in Superbooth. We are from Pachin Panda. My name is Luis, and I'm gonna show you two new models. One is gonna about to be released in two months or so, and the other one is in the final stage. Hopefully, it will be released by September. So, I'm gonna start showing you uh, this. Module is called Punch MG, which is a four channel BCA with decay. You can link two, so you can have four channels. You have dedicated control of the decay time. You have uh, control of the amplitude per channel. And then you have individual outputs and the mix output. Envelope out for each channel. You can switch positive or negative the envelope from the channel. CV input for the time and the, the, the best thing about this model and what really is interesting are these switches. These switches, will, I call them mute, mute group, but the interesting thing is when these are active, the two signals or three or four or any signals are sharing that group will interact with each other and the amplitude won't change. Normally, when you are mixing different signals, the amplitude uh, increase. But with these switches, with this circuit, the amplitude will stay the same, and the decay time will be also shaped with the other interaction. So basically, it will be converted into release time, and very pleasant for the ear. So we, we let's hear it. You can do really nice grooves with it. So I'm gonna bring up the module. So now I have this, the first channel, without without the switch, the way the switch off is a normal AD, but with the switch off. Now it's gonna give space to the other ones. I'm gonna bring the other channel. So I'm gonna bring the kick drum. So now you can do to the sequencer like this. It doesn't matter. You can do randomly kick. I'm gonna bring the other one and the other one. So now every sound has its own space. So this will become your mixer to mix the signals and jam. When you switch off, even if they are the decay to the minimum, if you switch off, it will change the shape of the other sounds. So now, because they are not interacting, it's shaping the other where are active. I'm gonna bring them up on again. So it's a perfect thing to jam. So I'm gonna bring with a switch off. You're gonna hear horrible things. You see, with the switch on. So we call this the smart leveling. So we call this this call this the smart leveling. So you don't have to worry about sending triggers randomly and just worry about shaping your sound like with FM, AM, or however synthesis you may apply. Just think about the sound, it sounds good and triggering, and just have fun jamming. And the other module I want to show you is Etna, which is a filter. And this filter, I'm gonna show you how it sounds. So basically it's uh, three filters. Three filters, we have one, two, and three, and you can, uh, you have two modes, 
in each filter. Low pass and bump pass in the first one, low pass and bump pass in the second one, and low bump pass and high pass in the third one. You have, uh, this is in the analog part, so you have frequency one, frequency two, frequency two, three pod, and this is the shift which is gonna uh, move the three filters at the same time. If you set the filters in different positions, it will can do like Forman filter. So I set to HP, bump pass the second one and low pass the first one. And then we have this part, which is the digital part. So you have eight stages over here. In each stage, you can set the frequency of each filter. You can set the amplitude of each filter, the Q globally, and a glide to go through the stages. So in the first stage, I'm gonna set this. In the second stage, I have this. In the third, I have this. In the fourth. So in each stage, I save different parameters of the filter. So I can go and scroll them with CV. Or can send some random voltage. Move the analog part to set the starting point of each filter. Or I can play, press play and clock it with a sequencer. So I'm using this sequencer to clock it. Then this will become will be will become the starting point of the sequence. So you can modulate that too. I will modulate it. And then the frequency one, the frequency two, and the frequency three pod will set CV out so you can control other things. You can as control the pitch one. So very performative filter, now I'm gonna bring the rest. As you can see, I'm variating all the patterns with particles, which has been released two months ago. So I have all the, the triggers feeding into here. And you can make your own algorithms with this uh, machine. You have different features to create your own algorithms. You can mute uh, with different time signatures, uh, divisions. And you can take off repetitions by probability. You can scramble them. There is a manual video about it. And I hope you can watch that. And I can show you how to variate the, the sequence of the patch. Thank you for watching and it was a pleasure to have Gearspace in my booth.
Thank you.